Oh, nothing serious. Well, when I say serious. Step, step, step into oh, nothing, you know. Oh, nothing serious. Well, when I say serious, I mean. Oh, that's. I mean, oh, do, no, no, thank you. Come right. Yeah, come right. Wait, you are uh, your um, your uh, belongings to that place off this way. Yeah. All the worlds are different. You know, you've got Miss P slumming it through most of the day, then you get to the apartment, and then you get to the fashion show, and then you get to the kind of Nazi hair salon, and then you get to a party, and then the nightclub. It's like they're all just vastly different, these worlds. There's a very clear, clean look to them. We're in Pimlico, famous for classic Ealing studio movie, Passport of Pimlico, where Miss Pettigrew bumps into Michael outside of prison. Let me help you with that. Oh, they'll have me back in prison for this. We've created our own prison here by building a wall and attaching it to the pub on the left-hand side and making it slightly drabber. But this is just a housing estate behind. This is where people live. And we've actually put some kind of uh, grills in the window, if you can see, and just turned it into, a, I think, a very realistic 1930s prison. It's all going to get very windy here at the moment. So God knows what's going to happen, but hopefully something exciting. There's wind and there's lots of dust going in your eyes and there's clothes everywhere and kind of complicated blocking to figure out. And then there was friends from McDormand. So that first day was, it was a lot. There was just a lot going on. No, no, thank you, God! Wait a minute, my dear lady, your, your, uh, uh, belongings. This scene, I think, particularly, is going to be uh, that sort of thing. It sets a film apart, you know, when it has its own sense of, of comedy that is original and different. Sorry! It's nothing like a normal period piece would be, I think. Barrett and Sarah knew that if you could set up a small figure in a vast space of London, 